wanted to record a short video just to welcome you to the course, um, to let you know that I am a real person. I'm actually here. I can answer questions that you can have, and I'll be with you throughout the course. Um, but I also just wanted to point out a few things about the course. The first thing is how the course actually works. Well, the course is divided into modules. There are eight modules in the course. Each one is about two weeks long. You will be, of course, having spring break off, but otherwise you'll have um, modules throughout the semester. In a typical module, um, the activities that you'll be doing are you might be reading several essays from our book, Writing Places, and then I usually give a quiz um, on those readings just to reward you for having done the reading and give you some points for actually doing your reading. And then um, we usually have at least one discussion forum where we discuss the specific ideas in the readings. And um, these discussions take place over the period of time of the module. Um, in addition to um, the discussion forums, there will also be instructional mini lectures in which you'll get some guidance on different skills that we'll be working on. And for each of our modules, there's a writing assignment that is linked to that module. And these writing assignments are due at the end of the module. And these are sort of the big um, graded assignment in each module. And um, I encourage you early in the module to read those uh, assignment sheets very carefully to know what kind of writing project we're working on for this module. So those are the sort of typical things that you would encounter in a module. Um, the important thing that about each module is that you want to spread your workload out throughout that two-week time period. If you try to do all of your work the weekend at the end of the module, this is not going to be a successful formula, either for yourself or for the class. Um, discussions need time to build. Um, and so our discussion format will not work if everybody's just doing it at the end. But also, you need time to read, absorb what you've read, to absorb new skill concepts, and to take the time to have a bit of a writing process for your writing assignment. Otherwise, you'll be way too hurried at the end and you won't produce quality work. So that's my number one piece of advice for the course, and that is to space your work over a period of time. Log on and work every couple of days, maybe. That's usually three, four times a week even is a good way to go, at least two or three times a week. The third thing that I wanted to say in this quick video is I wanted to be really straight with you for a moment. I really enjoy these courses and I think there's a lot of positive things in the courses, but having taught online courses for three years now, there's a phenomenon that I notice and I wanted to talk about it right up front. In a typical online course of 22 students, I generally will have between 10, maybe 13 students who conduct the course as it is designed to be taken. That is, they work over the period of the module, they do all the assignments, they read what they need to read, and um, keep up with the course as it goes along and are a regular part of the community. These students report having a very positive experience in the class, learning a lot, and finding it to be really manageable in terms of the workload. Now there are other students that will um, try to do everything at the end, maybe not take part in the discussions as a result, maybe disappear for two weeks constantly, um, um, leaving me notes that, that are saying I'm behind, what can I do to catch up, those kinds of things. Now everything is in the course information documents. You should have a clear sense of how the course runs from the course information documents. So anytime you're confused about what you should be doing, what we're doing in the module, all that information is there for you. Um, but there's another group of students that I worry about, and those are students who simply fade away. They might make an appearance in the first module, turn in something in the second module, and then I never hear from them again. And by the time I am grading at the end, I see their name is still on my rolls, and I have to give them an F. And I do not like giving students Fs, period, but especially students who haven't even been in the class. Um, so if you feel like you're not going to be able to be one of the, those core groups of students, and if you feel that um, you may be somebody who's going to fade away, 
I urge you to drop the course. Drop it before the administrative drop deadline so it doesn't affect your GPA. Um, but I invite everybody who is listening to this video to just go ahead and give yourself the benefit of education as it was meant to be. Um, becoming part of the core community of the class that you know, goes through the intellectual exercises that have been designed and see what you can get out of it. We will have a lot of fun. We will talk about interesting things. And please, if you ever have any question or concern, um, let me know. I will record a couple videos throughout this semester, but everything I'm saying will also be written in uh, various documents. So welcome to the course and let's get started.